What's going on guys? In this video we are going to see an example on source transformation technique. Here the question is asking to find out this current across this 10 ohm resistance and also we have a current source and also we have a dependent voltage source. Now let's see how we can do this. The first thing we can do is we can turn this dependent voltage source into a dependent current source and see whether we can simplify this one. I'm, I'm going to keep the other things as it is. So this is going to be just 24 amps right here, 24 ampere, and then here we are going to have 10 ohm, okay, and then this one I am I have to find the new current source, to find that one I is equal to V over R, and V here is 2 Ix, and divided by the resistance 5, that's going to give us 4 over 10, that's going to be 0 0.4 Ix, ampere right so, so let's await the unit 0.4 ix is the new current source now this is our new current source and this is going to be now parallel right so i of x is right here and uh, this 5 ohm is going to be parallel 5 ohm and then we are going to have the current source is pointing downward and uh, this is 0.4 ix right pointing downward because we, got, we have plus right here minus right here okay then uh, now let's see what we can do to okay now we have this 5 ohm this uh, 10 ohm and uh, also we have 24 amp 0.54 ix so we have two current sources we can combine them together to combine, to illustrate this one better, we can bring this one to this side. I can bring this uh, 24 amp and this one to one side, so you can clearly see how we are going to combine. So I just write the other things first. Here we have 10 ohm, and we have IX right here, and we have 5 ohm, and here we have. 0 0.4 ix and here we have this 24 amp okay I just brought this this one to this side now you can see this 24 amp is upside and 0 0.5 0 0.4 ix is downward so the total current is going to be I, I total is going to be 24 minus 0 0.4 ix right and we are trying to find this ix value to find this one what we can do is since this is across 10 ohm resistance right so ix is going to be equivalent to i total times the other branch resistance over addition of these two resistance so other branch resistance is 5 ohm and addition of this 10 ohm and 5 ohm that's going to be 10 plus 5 okay so i total we know that that is this and uh, let's plug the values i total we put it right here 24 minus 0 0.4 ix 24 minus 0 0.4 ix times 5 over 15 now to simplify this one we can just cancel this is going to be just 1 over 3 right 1 over 3 and let's continue this one right here okay so this is going to be 1 over 3 now to get rid of this uh, th uh, denominator 3 I can multiply both sides by 3 so this is going to be 3 ix is equal to, equal to 24.0.24 minus 0.4 ix now to get rid of this the 0 0.4 I can multiply by 10 both sides so this is going to be 30 ix is equal to 240 minus 4 ix now if i bring this i 4 ix to this side that's going to be 34 ix is equal to 20, 240 therefore ix is going to be equal to 240 divided by 30 and if you calculate this using calculator you should get 7.06 ampere and that's going to be our final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching